Let's try this problem. So we are going to simplify 48x squared y to the third z over 32x squared y, or sorry, x to the third y. Okay, so I've said in previous videos, my favorite thing to do is to write numbers as a product of their prime factors, okay? So 48, I wanna write as a product of its prime factors. And I say, that just makes life easy, okay? You see things, you're able to divide things out, you're able to do a lot of cool things when you're able to write a number as a product of its prime factors. So what's the prime factorization of 48? Okay, well that's gonna be 2, 24, 2, 12, 2, 6, 2, 3. Okay, so the prime factorization of 48, you knew these factor trees would come in handy, huh? When you were doing them back in elementary school. Um, so the prime factorization of 48 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So I'm just gonna write that as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Perfect. X squared, that's just X times X. Okay? Y to the third, three Y's. And Z is just chilling as itself. Perfect. All right, denominator, okay? 32, okay? And when I do factor trees, I like to go straight to like the twos. Like I always start with the twos, the threes. I like to get those those low, the lowest prime numbers I can start with. Okay, so that's 16, and then that's two and eight, and then that's two and four, and then that's two and two. So my prime factorization of 32 is two times two times two times two times two. That's what equals 32. So I've got five twos. Perfect. And three X's and one Y. Perfect. So now I can simplify this, all right? So let's see, maybe I should use the red. All right, so what's going to divide out? These twos, these twos, these twos, these twos, up three and two, that's not gonna work. Ah, these X's, these X's. No more X's up there, up those Y's. All right, so now let's look at what's left here. I've got a three, and then I've got Y times Y times Z, and then in the denominator, I've got a two and an X, okay? So I'm just gonna write all those. So it's gonna be three times y times y times z over two times x. And then just to make it cleaner, because we're not gonna really write it as you know y times y, we write that as y squared. So it'll be three y squared z over two x. And that is your uh, answer. So there you go.